What's up, guys? Scuba here. This is going to be a uh, pickup slash unboxing, which has already been unboxed, slash for sale slash trade video. <laughs> so, anyways, let's jump right into it. Um, I'll just go with each individual item. Um, first thing I picked up from a my retro game store for four dollars and ninety nine cent is a Nest Advantage. Uh, Nest Advantage which was like, you know, my favorite controller as a kid for the Nintendo. I love this thing. Um, I love the slow-mo button. Um, it helped, you know, on some games that were pretty hard. The slow-mo helped. Um, the turbo helped, obviously. Um, but, you know, it's pretty clean. It does have this little bit of crack right there, a surface crack. But other than that, not too bad. But for four ninety nine, so, you know... I'm happy to be able to pick that up. Um, I really wanted one in my collection and uh, mostly to be able to use it. Um, I love an arcade feel on some of the games and this is about as close as you can get with the, uh, on the Nintendo for an arcade feel. So I was happy to pick that up. I also did a trade with Ronnie Mac 361 cool YouTuber. Um, please check out his channel. Um, <clears throat> He uh, does a lot of pickup videos, um, picks up, you know, whatever, uh, Nintendo stuff, PlayStation stuff, picks up games, picks up DVDs, you know, picks up whatever he finds a good deal on at a thrift store, he shows it. So definitely check out his videos. Um, this is the Nintendo, the NES he traded me. Um, now this thing was absolutely filthy. I mean, he told me they were dirty before the trade. Um, this was absolutely filthy. I mean, it was probably the dirtiest Nintendo I've ever seen. I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed it with alcohol. Um, cleaned up pretty, pretty good. Um, there is a lot of dirt and grime down in the vents, so I'll need to take it apart to clean it. He told me it wasn't working. He told me that it, when he put a game in, the light just blinked off uh, red, then, then white, then red, then white. So it probably just needs, the connector probably needs to be cleaned, or... Maybe needs a new 72 pin connector. So I'll open it up and take a look, but I'm sure I can fix it. I also got from Ronnie Mac a Nintendo 64. Pretty good shape. A few scratches, but not many. Um, has the expansion pack. But I was happy to get this. Um, yeah, that is up for trade, guys, and I also got a Nintendo GameCube, now this thing is in really rough shape, um, I cleaned it the best I could, but as you can see, there's a lot of scratches, I mean, a lot of scratches, but he says it works, so, it's good enough for me, um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, also, at a Goodwill, I picked up some Ninja Turtle DVDs. Um, these are the. This is the newer series. Um, there's two in each. This one has an episode of Garbage Man, Darkness on the Edge of Town, and then there's two more in there for two different episodes. There's four episodes total. Um, those were inside of this but they weren't supposed to be, so it was pretty much free. For $3.99, I picked up the original cartoon series. Um, this has over f almost 289 minutes, which is almost five hours of the old cartoon, so I was very happy to pick this up, and the DVD is an immaculate... Uh, um, I mean, there's not like... A yeah, not a single scratch on that bad boy. So very happy to pick that up. So I got about five hours of uh, awesomeness to watch. Very happy. I'm actually going to watch this tonight. Not all of it, but, you know, start it. Um, also picked up NFL 2K1 for $1.99 on the Dreamcast. Um, I love the 2K series on Dreamcast. Uh, I like the NBA, the NFL, um, all the games. Also, from Ronnie Mac 361, he threw in two loose games. Now, I don't know if you can buff these games, the GameCube games, but I think you can. 
hopefully um, I can get them buffed out because this one has a ton of scratches. As you can see, I mean, there's a lot of scratches. I don't even know if it'll play. Um, he said they play, but I want to get it buffed out. So I guess we'll see if they can do that. I don't know. If you know if they can buff out or resurface or whatever these GameCube games, let me know. But this is Super Smash Bros. Melee. I've never played it. And then this one has a few scratches, but not not too, too many. Nothing like the other one. Um, and it's Mario Sunshine. I've never played this, so I was very happy to get it. Um, they are loose. Which is fine. I don't really care on GameCube games. I'm not a, really a collector on GameCube, but I just want a couple games to play on it. That's why I don't care that the machines beat the hell. Um, now, I also got some N64 games from him, from Ronnie Mac. Uh, 361. He threw in these games. These are also up for trade. WWF Attitude. Cruising World. Indy Racing 2000. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. And WWF No Mercy. Which, um... It's pretty cool if you like wrestling games just because it says WWF on it. Well, now they're the WWE. Because I grew up, they were WWF. But, um... Yeah. This has been... Anyways. So I got those games are up for trade. Um, and then over here, bam. I got some stuff that's either up for sale... Oh, and over here is all the controllers and cords and everything he threw in with it. Um, but I have um, up for sale or trade. Now it looks red, but it is hot pink. Uh, the berry color. Game Boy color. More of an uncommon one. Very, very, very good shape. That's up for sale or trade. Brave Fencer Musashi. For sale or for trade. The Legend of Dragoon. For sale or for trade. Final Fantasy VIII. Sammy Sosa's High Heat Baseball. Final Fantasy IX. This is missing disc three, but you can pick up disc three for between five and like nine dollars or something. Probably cheaper than that. Um, but you know, or if you have the disc and you just need the case, we can work something out. And another game I got from Ronnie Mac was Odd World: Abe's Exodus. Um, this, I gotta try out and play first, but those are all for sale or trade. Just send me a PM with an offer. Also have a Game Boy Color. Um, the box is in really nice shape other than this damage from where, you know, the plastic peel thing off was and the girl wrote her name. But other than that, it's in really nice shape. A little sturdy. Has all the inserts plastic, everything, and the Game Boy's in really, really, really nice shape. The only issue is that the sound doesn't work only when you wear headphones. But someone told me on uh, YouTube it's very easy to fix, but I can't remember how he said it to fix it. I just never went about doing it, but I can go back and look. But, yeah. A really, really good shape. I really don't want to trade it, but uh, there's some good things I'm looking for, so I have to trade something good. And then I have... Sakara Wars um, for the Game Boy Color. Here's the box. It is complete. Comes with some uh, some inserts. Japanese stuff. That's just a card. The manual, which is in Perfect, perfect shape. The game's in perfect shape. Looks like it's never been played. But yeah, but those are all up for sale or trade. Not too much stuff, but I think there are some good games. Um, the only play yes, Station One game I'm really keeping is uh, Castlevania, and the only reason I'm keeping that is because um, I'm getting. I have a uh, the PlayStation Mini with the portable screen, and um, so I'm excited to get that. It's brand new. So um, I'm happy to have that in my collection, and uh, but the only reason I'm trading these is because I'm trying to get some either money, but I'm looking for to really just focus on my NES collection and 
a Super Nintendo. I need a Super Nintendo, guys. Um, you know, if anyone's interested in the N64, maybe we can trade an N64 for a Super Nintendo. And I've got those games, too. Um, but I'm looking for a Super Nintendo that doesn't have any yellowing. You know, that's in really good shape. Um, I'm also looking for some NES games. I'm looking for Castlevania 1, 2, and 3. Looking for Mega Man 1 through 6. I'm looking for TMNT 1, 2, and Tournament Fighters. I'm looking for Mario, uh, Super Mario World, or Super Mario Brothers. You know, the first one, yes, I don't own it. I'm looking for Super Mario Brothers 3. I'm looking for Mario's Missing. I'm looking for Mario's Time Machine. I'm looking for Zelda 1, Zelda 2. Um, you know, they had them at the retro game store, but they wanted $12, $12 for uh, Zelda, $10 for Link to the Past. They wanted, I think, uh, $12 for Castlevania, Dracula's Curse, or or $14 or something like that. I really don't want to pay $10, any more than $10, for a freaking NES game, to be honest with you. I'd rather trade. Um, but I'm looking for those games. Uh, there's, a, there's a few more. I just can't remember off the top of my head. So if you're interested in anything, you know, send me a PM. Anything you saw in this video, send me a PM. Uh, let me know what you got, what you're trying to trade. Um, but I'm looking for box NES games. I'm looking for box SNES games. I'm looking for loose um, SNES games.